Kanoa's number one knuckle-headed ninja, Naruto Uzumaki is here. Yes, in this vid, we're taking a look at Good Smile's Naruto Nendroid. Finally, we can all own our very own Chibi Naruto. Now, before I get started, I just want to mention the box, as I think GSC did a superb job with the design. Cool to see the extra added illustration. I like how it opened to reveal the Nendo inside. Would have liked to have seen this with magnets or Velcro, but I still think it's a pretty awesome Nendo box, and it breaks the mould of the standard box style. Nice one, GSC. Hope to see more of this in the future. Naruto's orange and black jumpsuit has been recreated well. There's a tiny bit of detail on the zip, and he does have his kunai holders. Sadly, no kunai. I feel GSC missed a trick here. Being a Nendo, he is articulated, and he can be put into many poses. He's ready to weave signs, jump through the trees, and getting more serious, take you down with a Rasengan or Windstar Rasengan Shuriken. Another added extra is a transparent nine-tailed fox standee to help make him seem that bit more threatening. Setting him up is actually quite simple, as he doesn't have too many accessories to change or fiddle around with, so I was pleased to have him fighting ready within minutes of opening. It took just over 20 minutes to achieve all box poses. This makes him very user friendly and of course with some other Nendo parts very versatile. His accessories include his Rasengan which is a bright blue plastic ball, the stand and wind style Rasen Shuriken ball again bright blue plastic that's quite shiny in the light, an extra pair of legs and arms for various poses and of course two extra face plates. One showing that you shouldn't mess with him as he has a look of anger in his eyes as he uses his Sage Jutsu. The other showing you that it's too late and you're about to be hit with everything he's got. So prepare yourself. The sculpting is actually pretty reasonable. Not too much high attention to detail, but as far as quality goes, they've done an exceptional job. I can't spot any seam lines either. Plastic feels smooth to the touch too. Painting is good. Again, not too much detail, but it's still high quality. No visible runoffs or blemishes. I do, however, love how they've done his headband. The leaf feels embossed and it does shimmer in the light. Negatives are that god awful Nendo base. Would have liked to have seen a base that had more imagination, considering he is an iconic character. This felt like a norm for me that they would do this, but apparently not. Also, would have liked to have seen a faceplate to show the more comedic side to his character, as he does make some highly comical faces during the series. Another thing I'd like to have seen is with the Rasengan and the Rasen Shuriken. I'd have actually liked to see them glow, but I guess being a Nendo, that isn't possible. But hey, it would have been cool to see. Finally, while the final verdict scrolls, I'd like to take a chance to talk about an added extra, which is the box inlay. Yes, we get a small scene from the iconic moment Naruto returns to Kanoa. This was a surprise for me, but I was pleased to see that GSC had thought about a box inlay for him, and what it would be. This of course is ideal for some photos. Well, as he's Nendo sized, I'm not sure if it's worth doing a size comparison, but here is one anyway. As you can see, he's no taller or bigger than other Nendos, so he fit right in with your collection. Well, that's me done for another review. I think GSC done a fantastic job on him and I can't wait to see what Sasuke will be like. Now I'm crossing my fingers on a Nendo Itachi. Come on GSC, you know you want to announce Nendo Itachi. So stay tuned as I have more anime figure unboxings on the way, including the Lin Setsu Nendo, Portrait of Pirates Bartolomeo, Sabo and Ace, and those GEM Pokemon Brock and Nurse Joy figures and more. So, thank you for watching guys, don't forget to check out my social media, and I'll see you soon! Sayonara!